Hello, and welcome to your training walkthrough. In this video, you'll be guided through the process of taking your training from initial registration all the way through to earning certificates of completion. When you're first given access to the training platform, you will receive a welcome email that contains your login credentials. The email will also contain the platform URL and either your password or a link to a page where you can create a new one. After signing into the platform, you'll be in the My Learning area. This page gives you direct access to most of the things you'll need in order to complete your training. This page is customizable by your platform administrator and may differ slightly from what is shown here. Not all of the widgets mentioned might be visible in your platform. Announcement Board This widget displays announcements that have been posted by your platform administrators. They include a message and an image or video and can also contain buttons that will take you to relevant pages. Last Activity this widget serves as a shortcut to return you to the last course you visited. Clicking on the Continue Learning button will take you back to where you left off, allowing you to seamlessly complete your training over multiple sessions. My Current Learning All of your training can be found in this area separated into two parts, Courses and Learning Paths. Courses are individual courses that you are currently enrolled in, while Learning Paths are collections of multiple courses. Toggling between the two can be done by clicking on the respective buttons at the top, while changing between list view and tile view can be done using the buttons in the upper right. Lastly, while viewing courses, you can switch between sorting your courses alphabetically and sorting them based on due date. Recently passed courses. Courses that you have completed will be shown in this section, giving you an easy way to access any certificates that you have recently received. ILT Calendar. If you have in-person training or webinar sessions coming up, this widget shows them in a calendar view. You can change the view to show you the month, the week, or the day, and you can also sync your training dates with your own calendar using the Sync My Calendar button. You should sync this calendar with your work calendar to keep track of your upcoming training dates. Completed Learning The Completed Learning area shows you all of the courses you previously completed. Clicking on a course will take you to it, as long as it is still accessible. Course completion certificates can also be accessed from this page. You may also see a Submit an Existing Certificate button. This is used for uploading certificates you obtained outside of this training platform. Resource Center This area acts as a content library of reference material that isn't tied to a specific course. Whatever has been added in this section is provided for you to reference. You will always be able to access the Resource Center and the content it contains. Course Catalog if you're eligible to self-enroll into courses, those courses can be found in the course catalog. You can use filters, categories, and the search bar to narrow down your options, and once you have found a course you're interested in, click View Details. You'll be shown the course overview, and you can enroll yourself if desired. Taking Courses After entering a course, you'll be in the course overview. This area contains a course introduction, course module list, and other information about the course. Some courses may have an associated discussion board. If it does, you will see a discussion board tab in the course portal. Here you can ask questions and communicate with other learners and your course instructors. To begin your training, you can either click on the first item in the module list or on the start button. Once you're in the course, you can navigate between modules using the previous and next module buttons in the upper right. Some modules may require you to view them for a certain amount of time before providing you with a completion credit so pay attention to any timers that appear. If a module appears to be locked, you likely either have not spent enough time viewing a preceding module, or the module is not available yet. Quick navigation between modules can be done by clicking on the Show Module List button. This will open a panel that displays all the modules and their current completion statuses. Clicking on a module will take you to that module, as long as you are eligible to access it. If the current module is a PowerPoint presentation, it is recommended to navigate by clicking on the presentation itself, as this will advance it by one animation. Clicking on the Next Slide button will move you to the next slide and skip any remaining animations on the current one. This is useful for quickly navigating through a PowerPoint after you've already completed it. Additionally, videos may not allow fast-forwarding. If this is the case, fast-forwarding will become available after the video module has been completed for the first time. If a course has an instructor-led or webinar session, you'll be able to select the time slot that works best with your schedule. If the module is a webinar, you'll see the button to join the session here as well. 
Once the session has begun, you will see a field where you can enter the attendance key. By doing so, you will have marked yourself as present for the session. This key will need to be provided by the session leader, and if it is not, attendance is likely manually going to be marked by them. Taking Assessments If the course contains an assessment, click on it to go to the Assessment Overview page. Here you'll be able to attempt the assessment, as well as view the results of your previous attempts. After starting an assessment, you'll enter your answer in the Answer field and click on the Save Answer and Continue button. Navigation is handled using either the Question Number drop-down or the Skip Question button. Short answer questions may require you to attach a file as your answer, which is done by the Upload a File button. After clicking Save Answer and Continue on the last question, you'll be able to review your saved answers before clicking the final Submit My Assessment button. Taking Checklists Courses can contain two types of checklists, self-graded and instructor-graded. Self-graded checklists will require you to answer questions using either yes or no or one to five scale responses. If necessary, you can also add additional comments using the text fields. To finalize the submission, you'll be required to sign off and state that it was completed accurately. Depending on the course, this may require a course administrator to sign off on your completion. If the checklist needs to be completed by an instructor on your behalf, you will just need to click on the module. The instructor will be notified that your checklist is pending completion and they will do the scoring for you. Final completion. After you've completed all mandatory modules, you will see a congratulations message appear. If the course awards a certificate, a link to it will be shown in the message. If the course is part of a learning path, you will also see a button to move you over to the next course in the series. You can continue by either going to the next course and learning path or going back to my learning to start a new course. You can also view additional reference material in the resource center. Throughout your training, you may accumulate points based on your performance. If your training platform has points enabled, you will be able to track your progress and see how you stack up against your peers by clicking on your points total in the upper right corner. If you have any additional questions, please contact your platform administrators for more assistance.